First, I called Hocus phone. Hocus don't answer. I got the, the, the receipts. Yeah. So I call our son. You talk to Hocus? He like, yeah, whack. I said, listen, man, I got a bunch of little calling me, want me to do this, do that. I know if I go over there and do that. Hold on now. What's going on, man? Blood came out here to the East Coast and was beating on his chest and scraping his knuckles on the floor, man. He hollered at Hassan, pulling Scotty. He went to Castle Hill. Now, what's going on here, man? Whack 100 on Clubhouse giving us a recap to his little tour of New York City where he was basically terrorizing and trolling his ops. He even went into exactly how the conflict between him and Hocus 4 5th started. But I'm gonna speak for WAC 100. I'm gonna let the clip play. Y'all know how we do over here. It's always watching TV. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you're notified whenever I drop. You don't wanna miss any of these exclusives. Follow me on all socials at always watching TV. That man said he hollered at Hassan. Wait, you and Hassan Campbell still having phone conversations after he secretly recorded you? Nah, son, this gotta be the Matrix. Let's get into the content, see what they talk about, man. Get like, bro, this is not for real Cause I don't like not keeping it real. I didn't talk to 10 from that project and called my phone today, giving them the number. The bottom line is this, bro. If you get down to the bottom line, this dude is lost. Latif, let's talk about where the disconnect started. Hocus himself said, WAC 100 supports me more than New York. He reposts all my sh You remember when my sound was like, yo, why you whack? Remember all that? That's what he yeah. And so then the next thing you know, I get the text of him telling me J Prince and Mob Ties and got at him about with me. I don't say nothing. I respect it on the text. What happens the next morning? Remember, this was just text. The next morning, the nigga goes and does a YouTube, a live or something. Yeah, I told Wack I can't quit him. Here go where it goes wrong. If I just let them get off on old Wack and niggas say, ooh, 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 ah, and no response, they good with it. But then Wack responds. Right? <laughs> now, nigga, now, I'm not going to look at you just making a decision on what you telling me on the text, and I'm going to respect it. Now you trying to, you looking for some clout from it. You went to YouTube and IG Live with it. So now I catch him on Clubhouse and pack him up. Right? Four, five months later, then he comes and says, you mean I ain't mob ties? I ain't just turned mob ties. I've been mob ties since 2019. I remember that. At this point, it's on with me and the nigga. Not because he told me, whack, I whoop to whoop, I can't. Nigga, you went to YouTube with a text conversation that I respected. You should have left it right there. Rest in peace, take off, get. So now he live in Georgia. So in his head, it's on with the mob tie with Georgia. He goes on podcast with Blackout, Sex Money Murder, and says, I should have listened to Whack. Whack, no, I shouldn't have said that to Whack. You know, Whack was right. Uh, I'm not mob ties no more because I don't want to be part of what's going on. Hold on, bro. You let a Texas nigga tell you to stop with the only nigga who voluntarily for free supports your sh Now, I ain't never met Hocus in real life. I'm doing that because K. Slay told me always that show the nigga boy. love. So no. I don't respect it that I'm doing that. So, so... Where was the respect for Slay when the nigga from Texas called? Not for nothing, Jay Prince. You know, Slay the one put me with whack and, you know, woo, 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 right? So now he come on the thing and say, I'm not mob ties. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. This, 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 that. So now I'm sitting back looking at his character, Latif. I'm like, blood is a buster. Hey, look, nigga, when you pick that flag up, nigga, whatever come with it, come with it. Doing the, the storm, the sunny days or whatever. If this on with the mob ties with the Atlanta niggas, the Georgia niggas, niggas, you just supposed to stand with what you stand with. That's why you text me and said you came with me because you stand with mob ties. So we do our little in between. We have our bet. The nigga renege, don't pay his debt. I show the paperwork, all that. Cool, right? Everybody been watching me go to the DR, politicking with these uh, bodega people, all this. I go on academics and I say, yo, um, we start with the bodegas in the Bronx. You know this, Latif, because I asked you to do a run for me on the prices, right? 
uh, we're going to be starting the bodegas. They want to do uh, giveaways and support to the projects in the Bronx. I believe they started with Castle Hill Projects uh, for the diaper giveaways. Boom, 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 coming soon. I go to sleep. What he do? Revisit. Goes to YouTube. Donkey of the day. Bozo, you can't go to Castle Hill. Only I can guarantee your safety and all. God damn, nigga, like, uh, how do we get from looking out for the less unfortunate to it's some street where, like, I'm shooting a rap video and I need a pass to go. First of all, do you think the owner of the company is going to be over there passing out diapers that I got to drop the product off. So then when he goes and saying what I can't do, okay, I'll respond again. Like I told his homie today, uh, foreign something, foreign P or whatever his name was. I said, look, bro, because he didn't say whack. I didn't know none of that. Shit. Niggas ain't telling us that. I said, bro, when he does some, I'll respond. If you made an announcement and you wasn't talking about our section, and you talking about the bodega and give away. Nah, he shouldn't have woke up talking about you needed a pass and protection and this, this, that, and donkey of the day clown and all. At the end of the day, your man keeps starting the fires. Show me where Wax started the fire and I bow down today. Well, that's just why I don't respect his hand. You sitting 18 hours away in safety, you call your whole block, get your whole block going, knowing you the fire starter. But my man's them over there, they like whack. Look, nigga, we right, man, listen, nigga, what, what, what the f why you ain't called? They mad at me because I ain't called them. I said, call you for what? He said, whack, them niggas over there talking about what you can't go and all this so sh my nigga. We got a whole section in the Bronx. Nigga, my man's them caught up over there, over there, over there. Whack, you come on over here, nigga. We turn them cameras on. We 50 deep. We 100 deep. I, we dead, nigga, to pull up. Nigga, we can play. All it. Know what I tell them? Chill out. <laughs> know what I do? I call her sign. First, I called Hocus phone. Hocus don't answer. I got the, the, the receipts. <laughs> so I call her sign. You talk to Hocus? He like, yeah, whack. I said, listen, man, I got a bunch of little calling me, want me to do this, do that. I know if I go over there and do that, them niggas gonna feel some kind of way. When I get on this jet and go home, right, and while he's sitting down there an hour south of Atlanta, right, these little niggas gonna be blazing each other, catching gun cases because they feel they gotta run around like that. Police gonna get involved and all that, bro. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fall back off of trolling him on this little section. But tell him if he continue to push whatever he push, I can't stop them little that love me like they love me. He still ain't made an attempt because he in his feelings. You a any lead nigga call himself a leader who operating off feeling, you a bad leader. That ain't gang. I, I'm going to pull back because I don't want my little, because them is ready to go. Even when I went over there, I never said his name. I didn't say his name until he went live talking about Wax a liar. He was over here at six in the morning and woo de woo. So I made a U-turn and went back. Y'all gotta remember the picture was up before I came on Clubhouse. Saying I was lying and I went six in the morning. I went back. I turned around and went back. I had a conversation with the people, bro. One nigga didn't know him. The other nigga said, Y'all know him. I ain't seen him in a while. The other nigga said, Whack, I know him and I know you and I know you going on. Whack, you on some wild. I said, Where well, everybody else at? He said, Go to the corner, make a left, and they to the right. I went over there. So my, my point is, Hocus, do they know you over there? I'm sure they do. But stop acting like you Nino Brown, bro. And that's the Carter, bro. That's Cap. You ain't got enough money to feed them, to take care of them, to bury them, to pay for their attorneys, to put no bag in their hand. If you from over there, you from over there, but stop acting like you the end all be all to that. <laughs> Yo, Wack is playing chess, I swear. I'm telling you, bro, he 10 steps ahead every time. Like, this is starting to feel like he called Hocus 4-5th and planned this. Like, it's it's no way Hocus saw that Wack wanted this, was deciding to give away diapers in the Bronx and jumped out the window thinking that Wack was just gonna ignore whatever he said about him, bro. Like, 
He should have knew, yo, the minute I say something about this right here, even if it's about me, it's not about me. Man, they about to run a clubhouse campaign. It's about to go up. He probably wasn't anticipating Wack pulling up and playing with the homies in the hood, asking if, yo, y'all know Hocus and all? But he should have already knew Wack was going to fire off on him, bro, cyberly. Like, you're not about to cyberly attack this man and he ignore it. It's not going to happen. The internet is his habitat. You're not going to win. And Wack got the bag, bro. Y'all think Wack was really out there by himself, dolly, just him? So who took the picture? I'm not buying that a random person, he just hand his phone and they took the picture. Wack ain't out there by himself, bro. That's how he gonna play it so y'all could come thinking it's sweet and bait y'all. <laughs> He's either moving with his shooters or he got the police with him, homie. Like, he not going to no Castle Hill with all his jewels on and then hand his phone to a random Bronx individual to take a picture while he posing with a box of... Come on, bro. Wack, you might be able to fool the people on your stage, but I already know how you went over there, homie. You're not playing over there in the Bronx with your life. Come on, man, cut it out. Either that or you really went over there and snuck and took the picture. And I heard when he was over there on Clubhouse asking people questions by Hocus 4-5th, bro. So he didn't sneak over there and went when nobody was out there. So I know he wasn't just out there by himself, naked, lacking, just popped out of a rental, taking pictures in front of the PJs, man. Wack probably had two cars following him, had that blicky on him. A couple of other people with him that's not even acting like they with him. Like, bro, he not out here playing with his life. He talk too much. Hey, that's just my opinion. What y'all think? How y'all feel about this? Your boy Wack 100 went into exactly how the beef started between him and Hocus 4 5th. He also gave us a recap of everything that went down in his visit. I'm not buying the fact that he was just trying to give out some diapers and Hocus 4 5th attacked him, so he's responded. It's called a trick back, man. I told y'all... Three years consistently, he's been running the same play on everybody he got to issue it. He going to dox you, find out all your secrets, and he got money and time. He's going to sit on the internet all day, every day, and talk about it till it go viral. <laughs> That's just how it's going to go every time, bro. Y'all ain't learned it yet. Leave that man alone, man. But y'all pull up in the comment sections. Let me know what y'all think about this, how y'all feel about this. As always watching TV, y'all know the vibes, and I'm out of here.